The Gulu Catholic Diocese is leading the mechanization of agriculture agenda for mass food production in the greater northern region. Gulu Catholic Diocese under the Acholi Bor Parish project has enrolled the training of farmers in handling and managing agricultural machines for commercial agriculture. Father Matthew Akun Lagoro, the managing director, APPA, says they have trained 10 tractor operators in the first batch of the program. The program is scheduled to train tractor and farm machine operators across Greater North, comprising of Acholi, Lango and West Nile subregions. And NATS has engaged for this training engineering solution organization that is based in Kampala to make sure that this program is well rooted into the pastoral and spiritual ministry of the church. The trainees who were passed out on Monday were equipped in operating tractors, among other farm machines. The initiative is jointly being undertaken by the Gulu Catholic Archdiocese under the stewardship of Archbishop John Baptist Odama, with support from the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries through National Agricultural Advisory Services. Archbishop of Gulu, Dr. John Baptist Odama, says they have decided to commercialize cassava, soya beans, and maize farming in the Acholi, Lango, and West Nile region because through this environment is protected. Cassava, dry season can come, but cassava doesn't die. It is one of the lucky crops we have for the salvation of our people. At the same time, being also commercialized, crop we have ethanol now the ethanol being used to produce uh, fuel for cooking petrol with the ethanol so that we get fuel that is not giving smoke if we could all adopt that our trees will be thanking us very much through the same program gulu catholic archdiocese has revealed three out of 10 tractors for mechanized agriculture and commercial production. Jackson Lacour, district production officer in Acholi subregion, notes that the area is endowed with arable land, conducive climate, and good relief, which is very good for agricultural mechanization. He explains that the mass production of crops is being affected by the use of rudimentary tools. Our agriculture is underdeveloped. Why? Because we are still using rudimentary tools. I think most families, it is the hoe and the panga. Hoe and the panga. And we cannot do much with the hoe and the panga. We are not 